Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Sunday. It's time to go to church. Let's get some amen, get some praise in us today. So, caddy chat number 12. OMG. Yes, caddy chat number 12. Let's do it. Oh, don't hit the mirror, mirror. Don't hit the mirror. I know, y'all. I told y'all I was going to stop caddy chatting while I was driving, but it's just easier this way because I'm in the car by myself and we can have a conversation there go Mr. Crazy Diz Mr. Diz out there so I haven't done much this week just chilling 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 so my issue is I'm trying to verify myself on another site and they keep telling me I'm not who I say I am. How is that possible? Got a birth certificate. Got a tax ID number. I got a social security number. I got a business. I got a business name. But they telling me my stuff don't add up. What the heck? They need to check their records. And then what's so crazy is there's no phone number for you to call them. What they tell you to do is shake your phone. So when you shake your phone, you can report an issue. Shake your phone, you report an issue. But no one texts you back or emails you back to tell you, okay, well, your issue has been satisfied. Okay, well, can you send us proof of this document? So I'm like, I'm doing all this work for nothing. This is just driving me crazy. That's what it is. It's just driving me crazy. So... You guys, remember the Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest. We will have that uh, the Monday before Christmas. The, the contest will go down. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. So make sure you want to look out for our Ugly Christmas Sweater. Send me a photograph at miascoins at gmail.com. Earlier, the better. Um, so that Monday before Christmas, we're going to announce the winner so entries have to be in by that saturday by that saturday saturday before christmas i don't have no dates in front of me so i couldn't tell you what the dates are but i'll post them uh again but because i'm thinking about it right now i just wanted to remind y'all the ugly christmas sweater contest is going down that was so much fun last year so this year I don't know. I'm trying to think of what kind of prize I could do. Last year was fun though. I think I had three prizes. So you'll probably do something like that again. For the winner winner chicken dinner. We had we had a winner, we had a runner up and a second runner up. So we had three winners. But everybody who entered was a winner. Because you guys are all my friends. I love you guys. And it snowed here, not actually here in San Bernardino, but it snowed in the mountain. So it was a pretty, uh, a, a really pretty mountain cap this morning on top of the mountain. There's snow up there. That's why it's so cold. It's like 61 degrees right now. And it's 10 o'clock. I'm late. I'm supposed to be at my mama's at 10 o'clock. My bad. I did call her and tell her though I was running a little behind. Oh, Miss Nancy T make sure you see that i have on these earrings and this nice necklace yes i do um this morning going to church i got on some pretty costume jewelry that miss nancy t sent me so thank you miss nancy t thank you thank you thank you uh what else is going on not much not much at all i don't want to put music on my videos anymore because I don't want to get copyright issues. My intro is fine, but if I if I post it on Facebook, um, it's not Facebook music, so they don't like that. And I could get copyright issues on Facebook, but not on YouTube. It's so weird. But it's okay. I'm a digital creator, and I can take the music off. As long as I don't, like, I put the music on my intro when I upload this one and put it at the end, and I could upload the video on YouTube without music at all 
good like that. I'm good like that. I'm good like that. So let me tell y'all. So we went to the premiere. So it was like a premiere for the Riverside Black Chambers of Commerce. They got tickets for a bunch of people to go and watch Wakanda forever. And it was pretty neat. There was a lot of people there. They had a lot of black African attire on, which was cool. I like that. Um, but they told us it started at 6. We got there at 545 so we could find a good parking place. Riverside Plaza was packed. There was no good parking place. We had to park in the back. Anyway, they weren't ready. Like, at 6 o'clock, they were still setting up the table. I'm a very punctual person. If somebody t has on my ticket, 6 o'clock, I'm going to be there 15 minutes early because I don't want to be late. So I'm thinking at 6 o'clock, they're going to be ready. They're going to get people in line. They're going to scan your ticket, and you're going to go through the door. We sitting around to 6.15. Why they setting up the table? Come on, people. Let's get it together. Dang. So... They set up the table. Now, to, to tell the truth, if I would have known the movie didn't start till 7.30, I wouldn't have been there until 7 o'clock. Because it was just way too long for us to be out there. And we didn't even get to go into the movie theater until 7.15. 7.15. So, that part of it was a bust. But the actual movie, I enjoyed. I enjoyed the movie. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the movie. Because I know another, a lot of people have not gone to see the movie yet. But in my opinion, I enjoyed the movie. I had a great time out at the movies with my mom and my daughter. My mom's friend, Miss Vicky. We, we had a good time. And um, it was all good. So I, me and Monique went to the back. We picked up the truck. And um, we drove it around front to pick up my mom and Miss Vicky Because I didn't want them walking in the back. I dropped them off in the front. So I went and got the truck and went, came around and picked them up in the front. And um, I had to go to the restroom. And I went to the restroom before. I left the movie theater, but I had to go again. And... Um, at my mom, I, we dropped off Miss Vicky, and so then we got to my mom's house, and so I had to go to the bathroom. So it was the bathroom, and I guess I was taking too long for my daughter, and she went to get out the car, and I had to the key inside with me because it's connected to my purse. So I heard the alarm going off, and um, you know how you have to cut stuff short, and I had to try to get up and go out there to turn off the alarm, and for some odd reason, the alarm went off. It stopped. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went back to handle my business, sat down, and the alarm went off again. I was like, well, dang. So I finished my business, got up, tried to get out there to turn off the alarm. The alarm went off again. I said, okay, fine. She, she's, she's in the house. She was in the house with me. So we told my mom bye. She had got up hard. Said, she said I was taking too long. But it was cold outside, too. So, and I was talking to my mom a little bit. So we got back in a car to leave and the car unlocked with no problem and then I got in the car and I pushed the start button and it said tick 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 I said what the heck so I pushed it again and it just cut off and I put my foot on the brake and I pushed the button again tick 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 I said what the so I called James James told me to call AAA Sound like I need to jump Maybe I left a light on or something and I was like I don't have any lights so I said Monique did you leave the radio on while you were in the car She was like no mom I was just sitting there You took the key And I was like yeah because when I open up the door The radio goes off So she was just sitting in the car So I called AAA And the, the doggone movie, oh my god, it was two hours and some change. I didn't realize it was that long. James pointed it out to me. I didn't know it was that long. But 12 o'clock, we call 
for AAA. They told me they would be there by 1223. I said, okay. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Now at this point, when we got off the truck, I tried to lock it like before when we went in the house to say, okay, we're gonna call AAA. When I got out the truck, I would try to lock it and the light, like the side uh, yellow light stayed on. And I tried to try to like turn it off with a key fob, but it wouldn't turn off. So I think that it's sitting there like that, it drowned out the rest of the battery that was available. Because by the time the guy got there, there was nothing. The doggone Cadillac was just dead. It didn't have no lights, no doot doot, no nothing. It wouldn't do nothing. So the guy had to pry open the door with a little like puff up thing and got the thing and opened the door. He got it open, popped the, popped the hood, and he put the battery cable thing, the jumper on there, the box, they have a box now. You don't even even need a battery. They got a whole little box with the jumper cables on the box and it's like a portable jumper. And he jumped it, started right up. And he said, it has 14% charge. I don't know why it went out on you. I said, I don't either. I said, this. I've had the car um, about six months, maybe. And it's the first issue I've had with it. I said, but I bought it used and I don't know how long that battery's been in it. He said, yeah, you might want to get it checked out okay so then me and monique we got our we came we got all the way home no issues james told me to leave it out instead of putting it in the carport he told me just leave it out in case he had to jump it in the morning he got in he, he started it and he said we started driving it uh the check engine light came on so he just went and got a new battery he got a new battery, check engine light went off. Everything's fine, so he changed it. But I could not believe what he told me. That the, the price of the battery for this Cadillac. He said, you can't just put a regular battery in a Cadillac. So why not? This is just a battery, this car. He's like, this, bat this car has so many components to it, so many like electronic components to it. You got to get a particular battery. $299 for the battery. I said, well, $299 for a battery? He said, yeah, when you going to give me my money? <laughs> I said, oh, babe, you going to make me pay for my own battery? He was like, I need my money. I just laughed at him. Nope, I'm not paying for that. He loved me. He not gonna make me pay for it. He loved me. He not gonna make me pay for it. He said I had to get up and fix your old raggedy truck. I said that's mean. That's just so mean. Why you call my truck raggedy? That's just mean. I call my truck raggedy. She just needed some new a new heart. She needed a new heart for me. And now we good to go. We got new shoes. We got new heart. The, the people at Cadillac said. This is a 2017. He said, man, you got a clean ride. There's nothing wrong with that car. Nothing. It's clean. Whoever had it took care of it. I said, that's good news to my ears. Even though we have a three-year warranty on it, it's still good news to my ears. And I was like, well, when do I get an oil change? I need some fresh oil in it. And, then, and he was like, oh, no, the car will tell you when you need an oil change. I was like, why? He was like, yeah, it'll let you know when you need to change the oil. I said, I'll be doggone. Didn't know that. As soon as I put my blinker on to get over the car next to me, puts on her brakes. I don't understand how people drive. I just don't. I just don't. Let's see if we're going to beat the train today. Knowing my love, not. I'm look. No, I don't probably think so. But, uh, so that was the adventure yesterday. And when we were on the way home from um, 
But after you put the battery in, he was like, let's just go for a ride and make sure the battery's all nice, charged up and everything. So we drove out to Fontana to the business uh, P.O. box. And so you could check that. And so we drove out there and I saw big lots. I said, ooh, can you can we drop can we stop at the big lots on the way back? That's the big one. I want to go in there. And he was like, yeah. And I wanted some um, onion powder. I have garlic powder, but I needed some onion powder because I'm running low in my spices, in my spice cabinet. So I go in there and they and they had brownies on the same aisle as the spices. Like they had the bacon stuff and the spices at the end. I was like, ooh, look at these brownies. So that's why I made brownies yesterday. And um, they came out delicious. I forgot to bring my mama some brownies. Uh, if there's some left, I'll bring her some on Wednesday. But um, I made brownies yesterday. And we had leftovers because I had made chicken wings and um, chicken wings and salad for dinner the night before. And we still had some leftovers so that was what we ate yesterday for lunch. And I don't think we ate dinner yesterday. No. But that's it probably as far as yesterday that's it i sat at home i uploaded some videos like some shorts uh i don't i don't have a long uh content video uh for this week except for this caddy chat but this is only going to be available to my members only ah! until the following week and then everybody else can see it. But as far as that, that's it. I don't think I've done anything for a long long content video. I haven't. Haven't been shopping. Still trying to recoup from all the money I lost in Las Vegas. So I'm trying to take it easy and pump my brakes. But it is what it is. James said, you gonna make some more. I was like, you know that's right. <laughs> Might as well spend it, you will make some more. That's my motto. Might as well spend it, you will make some more. Hey. Hey. Hello, people. Good morning. Good morning. Bunch of people on the corner here. What are they selling? Tamales. Oh, then they got a whole corner. Got them a table. Can y'all see that? Got them a table, chairs, and a truck. Selling tamales. Now, if I try to get out there and try to sell me some peach cobbler, it would probably be having some issues. Man, it's my turn. I got the green light. Slow your roll. I tell these people how to drive, y'all. They just... Okay, I digress. I digress. I digress. Just been scoring. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That gas is going down. Oh my goodness. It don't cost me a hundred dollars to fill up my car when I get on the second line now. And that's like it's half of the half of a tank. Half of a half of a tank cost me a hundred dollars to fill it up a week ago. Now it's only fifty bucks. Y'all know I'm happy. I am so happy. Then James ran out all my gas yesterday. Kept leaving the truck running. I'm like, you don't fill this gas tank up. I do. Stop. Turn the car off. I'm just going in and coming right back out. Turn the car off. On my nerves. Doggone it. Wasting all my gas. Let me go walk the dogs. Bye. Thanks for watching. This is me as coins. I'm out. Bye.
Well, I had an amazing day at church today. It was interesting, to say the least. It was it was youth week at church. So the youth choir sung, and then the praise dancers were all of the kids. And it was just a joyous occasion. So just wanted to let you guys know it was a great Sunday. Went to uh, lunch with my mom and my daughter afterwards. We, again, went to the Olive Garden and I got my soup. But it was a blessed day. Take care. It's me as coins. I'm out. Stay blessed. Bye.